Welcome back, Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you hate it or hate my voice, give it a big thumbs down. I would appreciate it. And if uh, you're not already subscribed and you enjoy knife content, please think about hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. Or if I do a giveaway, you don't miss that as well. So let's get started. Today I'm going to do my top 10 uh working man's knife uh either they're all gonna be above seven and a half inches and they're either brutes of knives that can handle a lot of harder use tasks or they're just bigger knives that are great cutters either way you got some in budget ranges down to forty dollars and uh <clears throat> i go all the way up to uh like in the eighty dollar range so let's get started. We're going to start it out with the Western Active Large uh, Honey Badger Warncliffe. This is in D2 steel, FRN scales. It's a pretty pretty big knife. Uh, let's just show it uh, by a Spyderco Delica so you can get an idea. It's a pretty big knife, the large one is. They do have it in medium and small, but for this video we're using the large. And this comes in at $65 with the D2, so uh, great flipping action. You can use that spidey hole and excellent detent as well. You have inset st stainless liner, deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand carry. A um, little expensive for what it is for having the FRM, but it does have the inset liner, so, you know, that's, that's for you to decide. <laughs> All right, the next one's from Steel Wheel. And that is the Steel Wheel Sargus. Uh, this one comes in at $55. D2, black washed. I like that. Love that blade shape. They got like a kind of like a frag pattern on the G10 scales. Very comfortable the way it comes down like this. Tip up, left or right hand carry. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Good lock up, riding on bearings. Very nice action. And <laughs> very comfortable in the hand. I think a uh, pretty good purchase at $55. Here's an excellent purchase. This one's from Tuya Knives, and this is the Tuya Bruiser. This comes in at $49 with uh, D2, uh, G10, and bearings. You can get several colors of G10. They also now offered in Micarta as well. Love that blade shape. Uh, they kind of missed the plunge line, but I'm okay with this at this price point tip up carry right hand carry only easy access at lock bar nice snappy action comfortable in the hand and that's the two your knives bruiser there's the model number t1501 dash rt <clears throat> this is uh definitely on a lot of people's number one for budget blades and this is the ontario rap model one in d2 and um, the, the Rat Model 1D2 go, comes in at $40. I couldn't find them in stock right now, but I'm sure they'll come available. <laughs> you get that, that nice uh, blade shape, just a classic blade shape, comfortable in the hand. It's a big knife as well. You get the FRN scales, just another size reference. Here's the Spyderco Delica. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a big old knife. But I tell you, it, it, it just, it's a great beater, especially at $40. It's very hard to beat. Even the All State version, both of them hard to beat. Uh, they have really snappy actions. Oh, this is actually my All State version. I don't know where my D2 version is, but yep, All State. This one's even cheaper, comfortable. They, they, they dial this action in perfect on pretty much any, I've had several of them. Great beaters, the Allstate's a good one, <laughs> and the D2, but we're going to act like this is a D2 right now, because I thought it was, $40. All right, the next one's coming from Best Tech Knives, <laughs> probably my favorite budget Best Tech that they have, and that is the Best Tech Kendo. I think it's just an attractive uh, Tanto blade shape, D2 steel, uh, decently thin ground. You got some uh, contoured G10 scales, inset uh, stainless liner lock with some weight relieving. It is uh, tip up, right hand carry only, so it's not friendly to the lefties out there. Just has an awesome action, 
comfortable in hand with that broomstick handle um, and this comes in at $52 so I think it's a good buy at $52 it's a big big boy as well let's bring back out the spider codelica so it's just a long knife <clears throat> and it's a it's a classy looking knife in my opinion for a bigger blade and the next is this very popular knife for good reason it's made in the USA and it's coming out of Kershaw's uh, USA factory and that is the bare knuckle excellent knife uh, 14c 28n I love that blade still I'll put an edge on it as you can see riding on bearings it's got aluminum frames it's nice and thin <coughs> lightweight for its size tip up left or right hand carry as you can see with a nice deep carry pocket clip it's got their subframe lock and uh, you can find this bad boy right here in this configuration right now at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for 55 bucks. I think that's an excellent deal for getting a USA made uh, budget knife. Excellent action, nice and snappy. And you can also <coughs> get this same knife <coughs> at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for an exclusive of theirs with black uh, aluminum scales for and a, a 20 CV stone wash blade for a hundred bucks that's that's amazing for 20 CV and you can also get it with a murdered out black on black blade for hundred nine dollars excellent choice right here you can't go wrong with a bare knuckle good worker all right the next is from CJRB this is the Centros this is a Dylan Mallory design D2 blade steel good cutter G10 just flat G10 scales easy access to that lock bar a uh, nice deep carry pocket clip left or right hand carry. I love my thumb stud, de thumb stud deployers. This one's riding on bearings. Nice and smooth. Easy access to those dual thumb studs. Comfortable in hand. And the Centros, the G10 variant, <coughs> comes in at $40. Yep, you heard me right. $40. And you can also get it in a micarta variant. I liked it that much. This got contoured micarta with these uh, copper standoffs and lanyard tube. I mean, co copper standoffs, deep carry clip, just like on the G10 one. And in the micarta variant, it is $58. So you are gonna pay a p premium for the micarta, but can't go wrong with either one of these knives. <coughs> and one other, uh, if you don't like this model, another great one is the, the large CJRB Feldspar. <clears throat> D2 micarta. This is the micarta version. <clears throat> you can get this micarta one cheaper than this one because I guess because it's not a design collaboration. Um, the <clears throat> micarta variant is $53, but if you don't care about the micarta and you want to spend a little bit less, you can get the G10 variant for $40. So it's, it's hard to beat that because they do a good job with their D2, at least in my experience. Now this is probably the biggest knife on the table, <clears throat> and this is the Spyderco Resilience. Just so you can get an idea of how beastly this knife is, there it is with the Spyderco Delica, dwarfs the Delica. The Resilience <clears throat> comes in at $59, and out of the whole family of this, from the Tenacious and the Ambitious, I don't think <clears throat> as big as the blade, you're getting at least a four inch blade here, and as big of a knife it is, this is, even though it's 8CR, and I'm not a huge fan of 8CR, I think this is the only 8CR I have on the table. <clears throat> At $59, I think it's not a terrible deal for, you know, as much of a, as big of a blade you get in from Spyderco. Comfortable in hand, uh, great backpack knife. It is a little weighty, but not overly weighty. Nice liner lock. I have never moved the clip down, but you can get tip up, tip down, left or right hand carry. And this also, if you like a spidey hole, that's a good way to get the spidey hole as well. All right. <coughs> Next company's killing it in the budget arena and in the higher end. That is Civivi. We knives <coughs> Civivi, their budget brand. And this one's just a, a good worker. This is a Civivi Governor. It's not as thin as some of their models. I think it's like 20,000 behind the edge, which 
you know, for a harder worker. I think that's just fine. I like the fact that it has the thumb studs. This is a pretty big knife as well, uh, long at least. There you go, just so you can get an idea, pivot to pivot. <clears throat> the governor is uh, $56 with D2, G10, and tip up left or right hand carry with that deep carry pocket clip. Nice and smooth on phosphor bronze washers. Excellent action on this one. And if you didn't need a worker and you wanted a, um, you know, a, a better cutter, they have the shredder here, and the shredder says it all. It's like 14, 12, it's either 12 or 14 thousand behind the edge. Very, very thin, hollow grind on this one. This thing is a cardboard destroyer. You get the dual layer G10. So this one's like 60 something dollars, mainly because you got a, a multi layer G10 on there. Deep carry pot clip left or right handed. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Great slicer, great worker. There you go, and I love the fact that I can use that uh, that opening hole to, to open it whatever way I want it. So it's it's got that triple threat in the opening department. <clears throat> as far as harder used work knives, it's very hard to beat this company, and that is Cold Steel. It's the Cold Steel American Lawman that I modified. I just reground this, so it comes black with a DLC finish. You get. S35 VN blade steel G10 handles with the infamous triad lock. Very, very strong. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure it, it could possibly be the strongest knife on the market. And the Lawman you can get on Amazon right now for $81. So I think that's a hell of a deal. <coughs> and if you, if you want a bigger knife, the Lawman's not the biggest knife. Let's see. Here it is between the Delica. The Delica is a small knife. So this is, I'd say, a medium size EDC or a true, like, you know, EDC worker. But if you want a bigger one, you can go to the Recon 1, <coughs> which is a good bit bigger. Uh, it's a little bit, it's got thicker G10. Let's see if the blade steel, blade steel... Looks about the same. Might be a little thicker on the uh, Recon, but you could definitely get a bigger blade and thicker scales. And you can get the Recon right now on Amazon for $84. So <coughs> that's pretty hard to beat. And some honorable mentions, mainly because I, I don't own a lot of knives from these two companies or from their budget stuff, or at least from the first one. First one is the Tucson TS-227. I think I bought this for like eighty dollars. Fourteen C twenty eight N. Nice, nice size on this. Micarta junk micarta scales with the G ten backspacer. Let's see <laughs> on side of the lawman so you get an idea. It's close to the same. It's got a little bit longer blade than the lawman, <laughs> but I would go with the lawman before I went with this one just because S thirty five E and fourteen C twenty eight N and uh, Cold Steel does a good job. I, like I said, I think I paid $80 for this. Very smooth though, riding on bearings. And another budget <laughs> company, I just don't know a whole lot about them, is Horns Knives, uh, D2 Steel. Seem to do a pretty good job on their D2. Um, it holds up like a lot of the other D2 knives I've handled. Riding on bearings, nice and smooth. You got a thumb disc deployer. This is a pretty long knife as well. Here's the trusty Spyderco Delica. There you go. G10 bearings, black coating. <laughs> and you can pick up the Horns Vanguard, if I didn't say it already, for $37. So pretty good budget there, uh, or very good budget. Pretty comfortable in hand. Deep carry pocket clip, left or right hand carry. Tip up, left or right hand carry. Good blade to handle ratio. So there you go. Now, <laughs> I would say my, my number one choice for uh, like a hard use worker would either be the one of the cold steels, the, the Recon one for your bigger beefier blade and a more EDC friendly would be American Lawman. <laughs> and as far as budget in the budget arena, um, Usually I would go 
you know, Rat One because Rat One is just an excellent beater knife at forty dollars for the D2 variant. But you're getting D2 with you know cheap, uh, cheap grivery handles with a regular pocket clip. Don't get me wrong, excellent beater knife. It's a little weighty, but it's kind of hard to beat uh, this Centros at forty dollars or the Feldspar at forty dollars with the G10 or if you want to step it up with the micarta you can get that so for me it's gonna to have to go at the best bank for the buck for what you're getting bearings G10 or micarta contoured micarta and they're using American made micarta it's hard to beat this in the budget arena at forty dollars for the G10 and then the fifties for the micarta and let's just put it on this is for the number one spot in the budget category of this, and then number one for the uh, you know beefier, harder use side of this. So there you go. Let me know if you have any that that you would add to this list down in the comments, or if you would have done it a little different. Um, than what I picked and that's cool I like having conversations down below and I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day and I'll see y'all in the next one peace